Now I want to show you how to have multiple players. Right now when I press play, I only have one when I click on land host and it's kind of boring. I mean, I can control it, but there's nothing going on. I cannot do anything, but that's okay. I can easily add new player characters. And because we have everything set up correctly, things are gonna be smooth, just the way we like it. All right, so first of all, click on file and then build settings. Here, make sure you select PC, Mac, and Linux so that it runs on this machine and click on build and run. Now, let's save it somewhere. I'm going to save it inside of uh, my Unity project. Um, and then uh, just save the build because that's going to create a multiplayer build. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this one build. And I'm going to call this one game. All right, or game one and save. All right, and now it's, it's going to compile it and run it. So this usually takes some time depending on which computer you have. My computer is kind of fast, but I'm sure if you have like a big tower for PC, it's gonna be even faster. So please bear with me. All right, it's done. Now I have a bit succeeded. I'm gonna put it in Windows mode. Why? So that I can move it around very small and fast graphics. I'm taking all these settings so that it doesn't take too much processing power, but feel free to put it as fantastic if you want. I'm going to press play, and guess what? This is going to create a game, another game. All right, here it comes, there we go. Now, I can have two games at the same time. I'm gonna close this, and I can have two games. I can have this one, I'm gonna press play, and this one's going to be the host. I'm going to click on LAN host, and as you can see, I have the character here. Then I'm going back here, and I'm click on LAN client. Now, if you don't change any settings for the local host, it will automatically connect to the server. Now, let's just give it a shot. And there you go. As you can see, there's two characters here and two characters there. Now, they're not the same colors, and that's totally fine. Why? Because when you're playing a, re a real game, um, you never know what colors are the other characters. You know, like, you don't, you don't live in somebody else's house. So actually, they might be a different color. You don't even know. But what matters is that the colors that you see. But we have two games right now. So as you can see, I'm going to come to this game here and I'm going to control by pressing the keys. And as you can see, I'm controlling both characters. Uh, it's kind of weird, right? Um, so, and if I go here now, I'm also controlling both characters. But if you take a look at it here, it's not updating here. So both games are independent, but I do have two games and two characters. So I didn't do any code and it knows automatically that I need two characters. But now we're going to work on the settings to be able to have each player control only their own character and not the character of the other player. All right, let's do this.